It is very heart-wrenching. You will probably, most likely, definitely cry reading it. Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to Imposia's Book Club. This video is going to be focusing on overhyped books on booktube that are actually worth the read that I think, even though they are deemed as overhyped, you should still pick them up. So I'm not going to be going into detail as to what these books are about because, once again, they're overhyped. I feel like everyone knows about them, but I will tell you why I think they're worth the read. The first one is going to be Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This is an adult male-male romance. Do go into it knowing. It is adult, it is steamy, it is smutty. I have seen some people pick up this book and be like, ah, what's going on? Because they didn't know it was adult. It is adult. But this is amazing. It is hilarious. It is heartbreaking at times because it deals with a lot of homophobia. The friendships, the family, the found family that comes out of this is just phenomenal. It feels so real. You fall in love with these characters so quickly that I, I can't imagine people reading this book and not loving it. The next one is going to be Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a book that blew up a couple years ago because the audiobook for it is just stunning. It was the first audiobook I ever listened to and it got me into listening to audiobooks. I never went back after listening to Sadie. So if you are looking to get into audiobooks, I would highly recommend Sadie. Do you know that this book does deal with a lot of dark topics? It does deal with rape, sexual predators, abuse, and murder. So it's not like a light book. It is a YA suspense revenge novel and if you are comfortable with that, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, the audiobook is phenomenal because it has a full cast and you're following Sadie as she's on her quest for vengeance, but also a podcaster who is following Sadie because she's technically disappeared and it is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. We then have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson is literally everywhere on the internet. He is a hallmark of adult fantasy. I read Mistborn last year and fell in love with it. I was really afraid that his books were going to be super dense, but they were very palatable. I would say that his Mistborn series, which starts off with The Final Empire, is the perfect foray into adult fantasy. So if you are a YA reader who's looking to get into adult fantasy, I would highly recommend it. Then we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is an adult romance that is hate to love, and we follow these two co-workers, and I think it is totally worth it. It is kind of the book that started the whole idea of Oh, just because these books have these pretty illustrated covers doesn't mean it ain't gonna be steamy as all heck. The steam in this is beautiful. It was hilarious. I love the hate to love romance that occurred. There's a miscommunication between these two co-workers that leads them to just annoy the heck out of each other. It's a very classic adult romance in my opinion that's come out of these last couple of years so I would highly recommend it. And then we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Once again this is another book where the audiobook was raved about by everyone. It is by Taylor Jenkins Reid who is a very very popular author but Evelyn Hugo was a book that really just exploded for her. I'm not someone who reads contemporary fiction very often, so this was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I listened to it on audiobook and it was amazing. I haven't read any more of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books, but I listened to an audiobook and I thought it was amazing. It chronalizes the life of Evelyn Hugo, who is a movie star, and she has seven husbands throughout her life, and the whole question is, well, who was Evelyn Hugo's true love? Out of all the men that she married, who was it? And it is just a very, very beautiful book. It is very heart-wrenching. You will probably, most likely, definitely cry reading it. And if it is a book that you have been like hesitant about because of how hyped it was, read it. This is your sign. Please, please, please pick this book up. Even if you think like I did that it's out of your comfort zone, you will be so shocked by how amazing it is. And then the last one I have to talk to you about is just an overall author, and that is Sarah J Maas. So Sarah J Maas is an author that's very close to my heart. I read Thread Glass during a time of my life when I was going through a lot of difficult things, and her series was just something that I latched onto. I think I read it back in 2014, I think was when I read her, started reading Throne of Glass. And ever since then, there is not a Sarah J Maas book that I have not read. She, in my opinion, is not overhyped. I think that's kind of controversial because there are a lot of people out there who do dislike her and don't like her books at all. She has three different series and I just think she's amazing. I, I don't really know how to explain it other than the fact that I, I love her. <laughs> But yeah, those are some overhyped books that I think are definitely worth the hype. Are there any overhyped books that you think are definitely worth the read that people shouldn't skip out on just because they're overhyped and kind of like wary of it? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time on Imposius Book Club. Bye everyone.